Thanks for coming <laughs> no in. No problem. <laughs> nice to, nice to come in. Uh, I know Connor was uh, following you for a while, and he said, look, you've got to get this guy called Nick in to say hello, because he does what you do, but he's got more subscribers. <laughs> How the hell do you do it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, you know, um, so as I was saying before, you know, I've been doing YouTube now for about a year and five months. And for someone like me, obviously you've got to start from somewhere and you put your first video out there and you're on your phone, you're scared, <laughs> you don't know what to say, and you're nervous and you're sweating and you're red, but guess what, it doesn't matter, does it? It's, no. it's putting the content out there. And um, you, know, I, I, you know, I saw your first one and uh, it was really good. And you mentioned you shot, shot, shot it on a GoPro. Yeah, yeah. And um, how many views has your first one got now? 60, uh, just under 17,000 now. 17,000? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it was just a shot in the dark. Just thought if people wanted to see it or not. So, <laughs> so when you put your f first video up, how quick did it take to get traction? It took a while. I didn't have many subscribers for a long time. But did um, you did you did you know about your hashtags? Did you know about your keywords? Keywords I did, but hashtags no. Yeah. So it was all a learning process. But I did get a lot of feedback straight away. People yeah. saying, "Oh, this looks really cool. Can't wait to see it when it's finished." And then yeah. even people saying, "Oh, I think you should do this. I think you should do this." It's quite interesting. Yeah. And that was straight away. Yeah. So before we go into it, just tell everyone what you do. Yeah. So I basically renovate houses. Yeah. Um, I've been doing it for about 10 years. Um, and essentially I try and buy one, flip it, sell it within sort of a year. So I've done everything from large extensions and sort of million pound houses down to terrace houses and some flats, just trying to flip it in 30 days. Yeah. I, all my friends always ask me about how the renovation is and they'd like to see it and they'd like to try it themselves one day. So I just started filming it and it seems like a lot of people out there are the same and I get a lot of questions and people asking for advice mm -hmm. from everything from how much do things cost, where do you get the money to buy the house, yeah. how long do things take, where to find tradesmen, everything. So it's been really cool. Isn't it amazing that people take on the content through YouTube from a stranger? It's not this is yeah. not, they're not watching BBC or Homes Under a Hammer. Yeah. They're watching someone, a young entrepreneur, talking about construction and then they're asking you information. It's just amazing. Isn't yeah, it? it's, it's really brilliant. good. And it's, it's a brilliant. free service for them as well, so it's, it's great that it's out there. Yeah. So, um, your first ever project, so you bought it for how much did you buy it for? So, that was 465. It was on for 500. Um, Where, which was it on with an that agent? That was Bromley North, yeah, it was on with an agent. Um, yeah. It was on for 500. We tried 450, they said no, we got them up to, well, well they took us up to 465. Yeah. Um, it was a really good price, but then you have to consider stamp duty, second home stamp duty, yeah. straight away. So, was it? Was it below market value when you bought it? Yeah, the market value was 500. Yeah. Um, so we were really happy with the price, although a second yeah. home stamp duty did take it up to about 492 yeah. all in, yeah. and then we could start the work. And did you do, did you extend? Did you create more square footage? So no, we couldn't. Um, it didn't really allow it, only had a small garden. We could yeah. have done a tiny bit of the side, but it wouldn't have been worth the expense. Yeah. And we were trying to flip it within Quickly. three months as well. So you just added value through refurbishment? Yeah. It was like new kitchen, new bathrooms? Yes, yeah, everything. It was, it was essentially what I'd call a granny house. It was yeah. just, it hadn't been touched since the 60s. Yeah. Funky wallpaper, funky carpets. And all we did was the bathroom was about two meters by three meters. And so we knocked out one of the stud walls and just brought it into the bedroom a bit more to make it a bit larger family bathroom. Yeah. Other than that, it was just rewiring, replumbing, new carpets. And, and how much did the bill cost? Um, it was about 30,000. Nothing, is it? Oh, no, it was good. Yeah, it was really good. And you sold it for how much? Sold it for 595. Within three months? Yeah. So well, we sold it another three, so six months total. Six months? Yeah. And then you did the profit from that, you sunk it into another deal? Yeah, yeah. Either that or we, we try and build up a bit of money and then try and buy an investment flat somewhere just to rent as yeah. well. So we've got a few in Alpington. Yeah. In Kent. So that uh, that video you shot for the first house was it in multiple different uh, episodes or yeah, one go? I think I did about 20, <clears throat> 25 videos. Twenty five videos. So I tried to do one a week. Yeah. Or or two a week just to 
do as many as I could just to take everyone across the journey. Some weeks not much happens in a building yeah. or it looks yeah. like not much has happened. But Exactly, because when we do a project, Connor goes down and he says, I can't see any change. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's all behind the scenes, Yeah, exactly, isn't it? yeah. It's only when the big stuff happens, like plastering or painting, yeah. it really just, or putting in the kitchen, it just changes. So after you've done your first project and it was all on YouTube and it, then the traction started to build up on, on YouTube and the subscribers uh, got higher and higher, did you think it was ever going to be a success like that? No, not at all. It was just something I was trying. Yeah. I didn't really have any goal. I just thought mm -hmm. people were interested in it. I'll try it for a year and it's sort of gone from naught to 1,300 subscribers and 100,000 views, which has just really surprised awesome. me. Yeah. It's really cool. It pisses me off. He hasn't got you. <laughs> it's really hard. You know, we, you know we, we put a lot of content, uh, but I do think that it's the strap lines, it's the hashtags, it's the actual description, because people don't know what the video is about until they actually look at the video. Mm. So it's not like an algorithm to find out what the video is about. You've got to tell them. Yeah. So it's, what do they call it when you, you're fishing? No, clickbait. You're clickbait. Oh, clickbait. Yeah. So the, the, everyone's uh, uh, titles that may not even represent what the video is about. You know, when you see, you know, I watch a lot of boxing uh, uh, YouTube uh, videos and the, uh, the title is just something really dramatic just to get someone yeah. booked on. Yeah. Because if the title is not dramatic or doesn't capture your attention, with the thumbnail, people will overlook it. So I yeah. think that's really important. But have you found that? Do you work, do you work hard on your thumbnails? I do now, but as you were just saying, and at the start I had no idea. I yeah. A title I thought was pretty obvious, but a thumbnail, I just like, whatever. Just, yeah. But now I've realized if you put a fancy kitchen that you've done as yeah. a thumbnail maybe, and then yeah. I always put something like cost 10,000 pounds, and then that gets so much more clicks than just yeah. me walking around the camera and thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah, it's very important to get that get that strap line spot on. Yeah. Um, because we got this thing called Tube Buddy, and it, it is a oh, I've heard of it. So I've heard of it. It yeah. is a um, what do you call it? It's an app for Amazon yeah, it's, Pro. It's like a, like a plug-in. Like a plug-in, yeah. yeah. For Amazon Pro, and it tells <clears throat> when I go onto yours or whoever's uh, YouTube channel, it tells me what their tags are all the details and some people don't even have any bloody tags but because they've got so much traction already mm. they don't need it yeah um who, who else do you follow on sort of uh youtube do you, do you, do you obviously we spoke about grant cardone yeah I don't, I don't what about gary v no i haven't heard of that no. so gary v he's another gary v do you like gary v nope <laughs> <laughs> so gary v is probably 43 years old he owns a company called vayner media he launched his company some time ago on, on the back of Google AdWords. Same as Jeff Basinger of uh, Amazon, mm. where he could sell a, uh, uh, Gary used to work for his father's um, wine company uh, called Wine Library, and you could buy a keyword for a bottle of wine, one cent, nothing. Mm. So he could buy all the keywords and all the adwords for, for, for nothing at all. Yeah. So he was getting anyone who's searching for Sauvignon Blanc or whatever it may be, he was going to number one instantly. So we've made millions out of that. So he became an expert and he is an expert on anything to do with digital marketing. That is how Grant Cardone has become such a, a money spinning machine through his Cardone Capital because he knows how to work digital marketing, social media to the masses. Because he wants normal people like us to invest five, 10, 20, 30, 40,000 dollars into Grant um, Cardone Capital to get those returns. So ever since he's really hit the nail on the head with YouTube, Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn, his business is quadrupled. Yeah. Now he's buying units for five, six hundred thousand, six hundred million dollars. So, you know, I believe in content and uh, we try and produce as much content as possible. Uh, but which is hard because if I haven't had a great day, and you know, and, 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 and yeah. constructions, 
is pressure all yeah. the time. Yeah. What will go wrong does go wrong. Yeah. And when you want to, when you're trying to be creative and doing a video or doing something on Insta or you, Facebook, it's hard. 